Welcome back, my friends. I'm Daily Fix, and we're playing Star Trek New Horizon for version 2.2.4 of Stellaris. Um, I've been changing my uh, my audio settings. I can finally hear myself talking over my my headset, and I'm I'm thinking it might make it so that I'm less shouting. I don't know, but we were uh, working here. Um, we are starting the uh, the colony of uh, Springboard. And I'm thinking about perhaps jumping forward soon and getting another colony done. Uh, I also want to make sure that the station is uh, is getting developed, but we will need about 250 in alloys. Of course, it just stands there and I'm trying to do the math here in my head. It, it's, it's so many things I could change there. <laughs> Anyways, um, other things. We're working here in Vulcan, um, seeing if the Serenite movement is as bad as everyone says it is. Uh, I think if they were to change in um, in traits here, and that is something that will happen, um, it, it, it will probably be for the best, seeing that they're xenophile and, and they don't have any xenophilic traits. Uh, but we'll have to see. We're going to unpause right now. Um, you are researching their target causes belly by the Vulcan High command. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Now there is a, f a few options that could happen. Um, one is they change into uh, into serenoids and they'll be peaceful. Um, and we'll, we'll just see how, how things will be going. Anyways, um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing absolutely great. And also, if you're new to the channel, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're enjoying this type of content, don't forget to uh, like the video. Um, that lets me know if I'm on the right track. Now, here we go. I'm going to rape a bunch of names and try my utmost best to uh, read this out loud. So, um, the officer has experienced a number of visions following the attack of the Serenite base. Learning that Siren carries uh, the Chatra or soul of Su uh, Surak now transferred to himself. The mental toll is heavy. The power reveals the underpinning, the underpinning of the Simbinet faith is uh, the Serenet faith is that the um, Kershara, an ancient artifact said to contain the complete writing of Surak, uh, through lost to time, a thought lost to time. Wow, didn't make much sense to me. Anyways, let's continue. Um, I'm hoping this will turn out well because it could actually go horribly wrong and things will be ending up in a war. At least that's what happened um, a, in a different try for this series to go. Yeah, it might sound weird, but um, this is actually the third attempt launching this uh, this thing. Ay, 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 ay. Here we go with the, chat, um, the Chatra of Surak in his mind. Uh, the officer is able to locate the underground monastery where the Kershara has been kept safe for centuries. A small elongate pyramid with the Vulcan riding alongside it faces the Kershara. Wow! Alongside its faces. There you go. Alongside its faces. Um, the Kershara shows evidence of containing advanced storage and display technology. The power argues that the only logical course of action now is to present the Kashara to the Council of Ministers and argue their innocence. Uh, the officer insists, suggesting that perhaps the Kashara would be safer of world, arguing they would locate a shuttle and return the sh to the ship in orbit. I think this, this would almost be like an act of war. Now we already have a save game going, so uh, perhaps if things absolutely go wrong, we'll go back to a previous save and uh, and see what will happen with the Kashara. Man, this audio actually is uh, is, is something, right? Oh boy, uh, that's so bloody loud. Um, here we go. Let's get to the capital. Let's see what will happen. Um, also, let's see, 25 of 26, 7 of 8. I want to get a, another alloy foundry going. I think the plus 7 is way too low for what we are trying to do, and our fleets are just way, way too, uh, too slow, way too low. Uh, also, once you are done... Oh, boy. 
uh, I want you to go here and build that uh, outpost. There's some planets in there. Uh, I said I was focusing on um, other systems that had planets in there. Uh, but there's nothing else we can do. I, I want to make sure that we can expand. So, the Kishara. Uh, the journey from the Vulcan Forge to the capital is long and arduous. Um, but the officer and the power eventually arrive at the capital's outskirts. Finding shelter with the Serenade Sympathizer, the, um, the pair con uh, carefully plan their next move to confront the council with the Kashar and demonstrate their innocence. Oh man, this is going horribly wrong. This is going horribly wrong, I can tell you already. Oh man. No! Oh boy, here we go. This, this is not interesting. Um, the plan... Um, their plan... A success. Their plan a success. Huh? Their plan is a success. The Pau and the officer have infiltrated the council chambers of the Vulcan High, uh, High Command and forced those present to bear witness to the Kashar and the Serenite claims of their innocence. While many were um, awed by the presence of the, of, of the Kashara, Administrator Sunok reacts with uncharismatic anger and attempts to destroy the artifact and kill Tapau and Hussein in the process. God damn it. Oh, this is so going wrong. Please, please let it be going. Um, the United Earth investigator Hussein, tasked with uncovering the truth of the ambassador, bo ambassador bombing on Vulcan, has been instrumentally instrumental in revealing the innocence of the Serenite movement. He was killed, right? Wasn't he killed? Okay, so in, uh, the Serenite movement on the, uh, to the Vulcan authorities. And reclaiming the Kashara artifact containing the contempt, uh, complete writing of uh, Surak. Now the Vulcan people absorb and deal with this information. Um, and, and deal... Uh, Whoa, come on, Daily. What the fuck? How the Vulcan people absorb and deal with the information now is hard to go. Uh, but Hussein has completed his task and will return to the sir. Okay, so. There we go. They changed. Logic dictates that combat is sometimes necessary. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, they've become very spiritual. That's what I want. The other time, they, um, there actually was a war. Uh, between the um, the Surikan and the uh, the other ones, um, but they're now quite friendly. That means that we can also look. They're no longer rivaled with them. They have close borders, um, but things will be all right. So um, this will give us something. Research agreement is always good. It will cost us a tiny, tiny bit. In oh boy, in influence, uh, more than a bit of tiny. Damn, I don't want that. Sometimes it's really difficult. Commercial pack invitation, that's great. Let's see. So, he will be going over there. Um, we got him back. So, let's get him back. I want you to start surveying these two. Do your best. Do your best. Uh, we also want to make sure that we get a, an, another construction ship. He's way too slow. Can we upgrade you? Yes, we can. Um... Where are you going now? I want you to go upgrading first. And we're going to be claiming this one before anyone else does. Because we don't want to lose it ASAP. There is a bunch of minerals in here. There is um, some, some energy as well that could be interesting. Technology discovery. Okay, new discovery. Uh, face cannons. Great. Um, geothermal power station. Fuse, pulse fuse, warp. Ooh, go away. Gravimental displacement, optical computer. Uh, economy, warp engines, tractor beams and subspace snares. Well, they're all 500, uh, apart from the, um, from this one, the warp engine. That's even a, a higher, a higher version, I think, than than this one. 136 versus 43, uh, 34. Personally, I think 
computers because there's already a tiny bit research done in that. I think that's a good one. So, um... Okay. So, the Captain Alberta has risen rapidly in the fleet's Anno Jit uh, Jitsu Championship League tables and now um, prepares to face the current champel, uh, champion An Yuang. Okay. Um, but it's probably important because it just pops up in the air, right? Um, Anbo Jitsu are regarded by many as the ultimate form of human martial arts. It is at the same time seen by some as the as a foolish dangerous participation oh, isn't this the one where Raiko gets hurt about a, a bunch in like the next generation taking place in a circular arena with uh, where two opponents completely uh, compete against each other both competitors wear light protective armor and a helmet which is effectively blinding the protective oh I never understood that a staff is used as a weapon with a proximity sensor on one end and a small spherical cushion on the other. Okay, I knew that Riker got hurt a bunch. Look at this mustache. After an insane bout, Captain Alberto has been uh, has been defeated by Anne, who retains his title as the fleet Anbo Jitsu champion. While it appears that An, um, Alberto, Alberto, not Anbo, Alberto has a number of opportunities to best it, to best his, it was an experiment, uh, experience that eventually won the championship for him. Um, worse, Alberto appears to have aggravated a previous injury result. Uh, oh, an injury resulting, oh no! God, damn you, dude. Where are you? He's in a wheelchair. He is a medical doctor, of course, in a wheelchair. At least it's a wheelchair sign. Oh, well. Luckily, we're in the future, and those things should be fixed. Um, This will all go... Let's see. So, we're almost, almost going halfway. Ah, man, these alloys are really a pain in the ass. Oh, come on, grow. Let's do the fastest speed for a bit. Mm. Health century. Oh, I don't like this planet. Three, six, seven, eight. And we'll definitely get a lot of... There's, there's a lot of people that could potentially live on this planet. But do we want to get it, like, immediately? I don't know. Uh, the fleet has been upgraded. Uh, we briefly detected some unusual energy readings emitting from this planet. Okay, interesting. So, our construction ship has now been upgraded. He's going over there. Hmm. This actually is interesting. What's this? Happiness plus 5. Immigration pool plus 10. Huh. It's uh, it's nice actually. It's it's forty percent, which is um, maybe not as nice. Um, but what I want to be taking a look at is if I press call. Why can I not do this with the Vulcans? I can make like a Vulcan ship if I go to my starbase, shipyard, colony, and and I can choose between human and Vulcan. But I cannot select it from the menu, which I find somewhat odd. How much is this to expend? 165. Mm, I don't like that. And our energy isn't as uh, so good. Damn it. Let's see. Uh, trust growth plus 15, which is nice. Regional academy, regional capital, and monthly unity. This tech represents a breakthrough in social science and biological science. Social, right? Yeah, social. Um, Building is equal to level 3. I don't think we are ready for that. I think we'll go for the unity. That's been researched. It's quite nice. 
I, I wonder what will happen now. Oh, look at that. They are expanding actually into this direction. Um, in my previous series, they went over to Alpha Centauri. And the Vulcans were snaking around me. That, that's not something you like to see. So the Annex Project. Oh boy. The Annex Project is stalling yet again. And this time it's not due to the Vulcan political pressure. The introduction of the modern technologies implemented from the first time in the Annex Light Cruiser class throughout the rest of the fleet has proven difficult. A test run of a new experimental ship at last proven disastrous. The new warp engine subspace bubble collapsed in proximity to the gravity well of Jupiter. The ship sunk into the depths of a gas giant with all so lost. Uh, the Starfleet Corps of Engineers has, uh, has been having a hard time um, replicating the ad hoc and jury rigged changes that the Enterprise crew did to the ship to get the new thrusters working, as well as the new uh, patchwork navigation software for the Duotronic computer. Wow. It is hoping to send a new. Uh, it's hoping to send a team of researchers, students, and officers from across Starfleet to study the Enterprise operation in field conditions. This, however, could prove prove to be a very complex project indeed, and disrupts all ship's work. Okay, so let's go here. Let's make sure that he is going to be researching that. Ah, uh, man, there's a lot of things we need to do. Okay, why are you not doing anything? That can never be what needs to work here. Okay, you. Research that anomaly. And these two are being researched, so let's not change that. Uh, I want you to go here. Yeah. No. You go right click normally, thank you. You, you. And uh, let's just do, do a tiny, tiny little bit of. I actually kind of miss like the, the lines because it, uh, it, it's going against everything you normally do. And it's uh, head over to choke points and make sure you got them. Uh, but they're just not Anomaly present. They're, they're not here. There are no, no lines across anything. Um, a class 12 asteroid orbits this moon, a small planetoid orbits, appears far too stable from the presence. Okay, do it. Uh, let's see, we've got 25, 7 and this one's halfway through. It's, uh, I was hoping that growing population would have been less of a struggle. Micro singularity. A micro singularity recently intersected, um, intersected Van Manen Star One, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. Fascinating. Let's see. Technology discovered. Okay, B map weapons do more damage. Bergium refinery. So this power plant also produces engineering research. That is interesting. More armor hit points. Um, exploit resource. We don't have those. Uh, we do have this. The Kelanite. Torpedo warhead damage. I think we should take that. We're using torpedoes anyway. So we might as well uh, go ahead. Okay, what can we do? Because I I don't know. Can you go into negative? Can you do that? I hope not. Migration treaty. Uh, toad asteroid, interesting. Migration treaty. Okay, so um, we're already starting. Uh, it probably won't be long until we're actually hugging each other like crazy. Um, the other planet is demon class. What will that mean? Abandoned music amusement park. Okay. He's already building that, which uh, makes me extremely happy. Uh, construction ship. No, that won't do. That won't do. We don't need a construction ship. This one has now been done. Um, 
what would be a good course of action? Personally, I would like to get into this system because of course that's once again two planets. Uh, four energy is nice, but it's just one thing. Look, Wolf uh, 424 already has like science and energy. And this one just energy. So, not too happy about that. And I'm quite worried that the Vulcans, and we'll have to see if they make a move. If they start going this way. Well, it hasn't been researched yet. So, let's do the mining stations and the observatory. And then go back building those. We'll see. 40%. We, we can debate if this is a, a good thing to do. A new technology, monthly unity. Hmm. S uh, space superiority. I like that. Hmm. Wow, job base production is 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 whoa. Twenty consumer goods. No way. A a a and unity for one energy oh i need that um will be maybe not as strong as the other empires but we're going to be relying on um, um atmosphere readings election pause here okay alloy aggressive agriculture alloy I wouldn't mind having like a uh, alloy production like of 12. That would only mean that we need to make an alloy foundry. And then it would be settled, but it would probably destroy the economy. What do you see? So let me know in the comment sections what your experience are so far. Uh, the game is a bit slow. I am aware of that. Um, but I like to think take things a tiny, tiny bit more slow. Oh boy. Transport fleet. Where are you going? Wait, where? Oh, they're going here. Why? What are you planning on doing? Why would you need military transport? Am I that behind on, on everyone else? Probably. Yeah, going on this panar. Um, I, whatever. Let's take a quick look here. Influence cost reduction by ten percent. Starbase capacity. Monthly unity improves by 5. I think that's what we need to do. Anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you are enjoying. Um, we've changed the um, the Vulcans to a more peaceful Vulcan race. Uh, hopefully, it uh, they will love us forever. They're friendly. They're, they're no longer overwhelming, which is a big step forward for us. Yeah, it is. We should be proud for ourselves. Anyways, guys, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.